Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to what I think is a rather exciting video. Now today as you can probably tell from the title I'm going to be trying on some jeans today. We're going to be doing a bit of jean shopping. Now this is something I have not done in so so long. I've not done like a full on like denim haul, tried on loads of different jeans. I'm someone who kind of when I find a pair of jeans that I like I just stick with them until they fall apart. I don't enjoy jean shopping, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really don't think it's a very fun experience. It's the kind of thing where like it takes a while to find a good pair of jeans and I don't know about you but I just do not enjoy denim shopping. But I was actually inspired by this pair of jeans right here now you would have seen these featured in my 12 spring outfits haul and they're a pair of asos petite jeans and i don't normally shop petite jeans mainly because i'm a very curvy girl like i've got a very big bum big thighs a small waist and i find that petite jeans are usually tailored to the kind of petite where it's like not just petite in height but petite in shape and I find that they're less kind of like inclined to curves and I often find that they're made a bit smaller so you have to size up a little bit. I haven't really found good experiences with petite jeans and I don't know what drew me to these but I just really liked the look of them online and I was like, do you know what, I just want to try them. They're wide legs so I feel like they'll be okay in terms of the thunder thighs and I just wanted to see what they would look like on and I got them and I'm not going to lie guys, I fell in love with them, absolute love what i might do actually before we get into this is do a quick cutaway to show you what these jeans look like because they are absolutely gorgeous oh i just love these jeans so so much they are so flattering and they fit so so nicely so what i'm going to do with all of the try-ons is i'm going to wear them the exact same way that's why i'm wearing just this little black cami top today very very simple but i feel like I want the focus to be on the jeans, so I don't want to wear anything complicated, and I'm just going to wear my beiges as well, because they go with everything. So it's just like the easiest way to do it, to show you guys how things really look, and like how they fit, and everything like that. But I just love these jeans. One thing I really, really like as well is the fact that the slits on the knees actually sit on my knee. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have ever like worn regular sized jeans that have cutouts on the knee, and they... <laughs> because you're so sure they don't sit on your knee. I've had that so many times, but I really, really like these. They're obviously a bit more of a wide leg, which I really, really like, and they come up really nicely on your waist. Now, one thing I will say about these is they fit so, so nice on my hips. Like, genuinely, if you can see, there is no gape, nothing like that, really, really flattering. But because they sit so high waisted, it does mean when you sit down, they do dig in a little bit to your hips. So they're the perfect kind of jeans for like, you know, if you're standing, I don't know if you're, going for drinks but they're not really like food jeans like they don't have a lot of give they're fairly rigid which i do really like in my jeans but it just means that there's not really a lot of stretch for like food babies and stuff um but that being said it means that they sit so so nicely on your waist and they really really flatter like your hips and stuff absolutely love it and lengthwise they're just perfect so these are the 30 waist 28 length so all of these petite ones will be a 30 waist and a 28 length because that is just like my size in asos petite it seems i really really like it but yeah you can see they sit just on my shoes which i really really like i find that a very very flattering length i find with mum jeans and stuff you want to show off a bit of ankle but, I, but with these like wide leg jeans you don't want to be like showing off too much ankle they look a little bit short like that so yeah these are absolutely perfect i love them so so much so after falling in love with those jeans, I realised that I just don't have the biggest denim collection and I wanted to kind of expand my denim collection and get a few new and pieces that just fit really well, feel really comfortable and make sure that I am ready for spring, summer, ready for all the denim looks. So we have a big old ASOS order here full of a lot of denim. <laughs> So I thought what we could do is try on the jeans together, go through them, show you how they fit and how they look. If you're new around here for size reference, because I know it's really, really useful to know sizing, I am five foot nothing, five foot exactly, so very much on the petite range of petite, and I'm a size 10 on top, a size 12 on bottom. In terms of like waist size, it's a bit difficult. I'm usually between a 28 and a 30. I've kind of gone for mostly, I think all 30s here because as I said, because it is petite, I do find if you are between sizes, you always wanna go for the upper end of the size that you are. So let's jump straight into this and show you what jeans I have been picking up. Let's do a bit of denim shopping and see what looks great. 
Okay, so the first pair of jeans you might think aren't the most summery considering that they are black, but as I said, this entire haul was inspired by the ASOS Petite jeans that I had, and I saw that they do them in black, so I was really excited about that, because as I said, I fell in love with the fit of those jeans, I fell in love with the cuts, the style, how they flattered me, how they sat really, really nicely, and I thought, if I'm wanting a few more kind of like jeans and a nice top kind of an outfit, so maybe the black will be really, really cool. Obviously, they are still, like, distressed. They've got the cutout knee detail, so it means that they're not too formal, but I feel like styled correctly, they could look really, really cute. Now, one thing that I always find really interesting with getting two different colours of the same item is the differences that you'll find. Like, you guys know I love doing, like, a this or that, like, two different colours, same item. I love seeing, like, the differences between them and I won't lie these are actually slightly different from the blue ones first of all I would say they're a lot more rigid like they feel a bit stiffer the blue ones already felt stiff but these ones feel even stiffer which I like stiff denim I'm the kind of person that I don't like stretchy denim because I find especially around your waist and stuff when it starts to stretch and it starts to like stretch around your knees it's not so flattering it doesn't like sit on you as nicely and also it means you have to wash them more and I really try not to wash my denim too much because I find the more you wash it, the quicker it like deteriorates. But the biggest difference in these is that the holes are different. So on the blue ones, it's just two slits like bang on your knee. This is more like on my thighs and the slits aren't identical, which I don't know if they've done that because maybe they found that being, I don't know, the slits on the knees didn't work with the black. I don't know if they're like... I don't know if that's deliberate, but I do actually really like it. I think it's quite cool. Um, other than that, they're identical. Like, they sit exactly the same on my waist really, really nicely. They really flatter on, like, my hips and stuff. I love how, like, high-waisted they are. I love how much they hold me in. I really, really love high-waisted for that. I feel like it just holds the podge in so, so nicely. And especially when you go for, like, wide legs, because then it really kind of, like, comes in and shows off that more hourglass figure. And then lengthwise, again, they hit exactly the same on the floor. Now, I feel like these would be so, so nice for... If you're going for, like, something that's not too formal, but you want to look a bit nicer, so, like, maybe drinks with the girls, or, like... I wouldn't really wear these out for a meal, as I said, just because they don't have any give. But just for something a little bit more formal, but you don't want to be fully dressed up, I think change up the vasures for maybe a small pair of, like, heeled sandals or something like that. And then change the top for, like, just something a bit nicer, maybe my sweetheart neckline tops. And I think that's, like, the perfect going to see the girls for drinks kind of an outfit. I think this is really, really cute. I absolutely love these, so I'm definitely going to keep them. I think they are the perfect, like, distressed pair of black jeans, and that's definitely something that's been missing from my wardrobe. Next up, we have a very classic pair of mum jeans. Now, what drew me to these is that these are called... I think slouch mum jeans or wide fit mum jeans. So basically they are a pair of mum jeans but they are just a bit kind of like more OTT than your casual mum jeans. They're a little bit looser, a little bit wider, a bit baggier, a bit more casual and I really, really liked that. As a girl who has quite big thighs, I find slim fitting mum jeans just do not look nice at all. They don't look like mum jeans on me, they look like skinny jeans. And this is something I probably should have prefaced this video by saying I'm afraid there's not going to be any skinny jeans featured in this video. I'm not a skinny jean kind of a gal. I just do not like how they look on me. I don't think they flatter me at all. I'm very much about, um, I'm never one to be like, oh, dress for your figure. But I think a big thing for me is just like the elongation aspect of outfits, making me look a bit taller, making me look like I have more body than I have. And I find that skinny jeans make me look so short and I just really, really do not like that vibe. So that is definitely not gonna be something featured in today's video. There's gonna be lots of mum jeans, wide fitting jeans, loose leg jeans. They are my vibe at the moment. I really, really like them. And I feel like especially because coming out of this lockdown, none of us want to have really tight fitting, uncomfortable clothes anymore. So I feel like these kinds of jeans are just gonna be what everyone's reaching for. Something really, really comfortable that still looks really, really chic. So I'm really excited to try these on and see what these look like. I feel like these could be a really nice everyday jean. Now, one thing that I wanted to do in this haul was really try to go for a variety of jeans so that we don't go down in blind. Like I didn't want to buy 20 pairs of the same kind of jean. So these, these are a little bit different. Well, actually, I thought they were a bit different. They looked a lot more different online and on the model. And actually, now that I'm seeing them in real life, they're really, really similar to the distressed blue pair. But I do really like them. The only thing I'm going to say is even though they're exactly the same size as the other two, waist 38, length 28, 
they're very tight. <laughs> And I don't know if it's just that they're stiff and they need loosening up, but I'm not going to lie, I am feeling a bit like, like I do feel like I need to suck in a little bit in these because they just, they, you know, it took a bit of a breathing in to get the button done up. That being said, they do look gorgeous. Like, I do really, really like them. I definitely say they're not a mum jean though, like they are more of a wide leg jean. I thought it said mum jean online, but I might be wrong. But as I said, they are pretty much identical to the distressed ones. They're just a bit more formal because obviously they don't have the distressed detail. But I do really like these jeans on my petite frame. I think they make me look a bit taller. The fact that they come up so high on your waist. I find they elongate your legs. They give you a bit more height. And if you wear just like a simple top, like this on top, it's quite nice. Because it's like all the details in here, all of the focus is down here. And that's what makes us look taller. So I do really, really like them. I think they look nice with the beiges. I think they would also look nice with maybe dad sandals or even like a pair of little strappy heels i think they're the kind of jean that you can wear in quite a few different ways don't know if i'm going to keep them because they are very very similar to my distress pair but do i want a pair that aren't distressed just for if i need something a little bit more formal i'm not entirely sure but let me know what you guys think of these let me know if you think i can justify keeping them as well next up we have a pair of jeans that aren't actually asos and they aren't actually petite these are the first non-ASOS regular fitting jeans and these are from New Look but I saw them online at ASOS and I was like I just have to try these and now these are the very cool very trendy what's this called I don't really know what this is called like where it's not lined up and I really really like that if you've been following along recently you've been watching a few of my hauls you would have seen a couple of weeks ago I bought a pair of monkey jeans that had this kind of look and I was so so nervous to try them on because i thought they were very much like a skinny girl trend but one thing that trying on the jeans taught me is that do you know what you don't have to be a skinny girl to wear them they still really really flatter girls with curves and sometimes you don't have to like think that sizes everything when it comes to trends so i really really liked them and i saw these ones and i thought they are really really cool they're a bit more wearable because they're like this very classic mid-wash blue which i find i wear a lot in springtime i am not really much of a color girl 99 percent of the year but as soon as spring hits i love me some blue jeans so i wanted to give these a try now obviously they are regular fits so it's going to be interesting to see what the length is like on me they are supposed to be ankle grazers but i have a feeling they're not going to be like that on me but there's two options that i usually go for number Number one is rolling them up sometimes it looks nice sometimes i think you can get away with it other times not so much so option number two is cutting them that's something i'm never afraid to do when it comes to jeans i have cut a lot of my jeans i actually cut the monkey ones that i got i find that the distressed trend has really saved my bacon in the last few years because so many of my jeans that aren't actually distressed hems I'll just cut and they'll look like a pair of distressed jeans and they actually fit me in length and they're a lot more flattering. So don't be afraid if you want to customise your jeans and if you know you love them but they're just too long in the leg, feel free to cut them. I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, so let's talk about these new look ones for a minute. Now, first of all, length. Obviously, I would not keep them in this length if I were to keep them. They're definitely going to need to be either rolled or cut. I think cut would look best um but let's just roll them quickly they do actually look kind of cute rolled up i think that kind of works it does give you a bit more of like a 90s mum vibe but unfortunately i'm not going to be keeping them because if you can see i've only just been able to do this one up here i can't actually do the button up here they're just too tight unfortunately i think you're going to need to size up in these which is a bit of a shame because actually if you look there is a gape so I think these aren't really designed for really curvy girls, which is a bit of a shame. You could try them in a size up if you wanted to. But for me, I don't think I'm going to keep them. They're a bit too tight around my thigh and obviously I just can't do them up. But what these have different to the monkey ones, which I really, really like, is they have a buttons going up here. The monkey one didn't have any anything that like secured you here. So when I was wearing them, Holly kept saying to me like, Ellie, are your flies undone? And I was like, no, it's just, it's just the jeans. Like it's like, I would show her like, look, it's fabric, but it did look a little bit gaping. It did look a little bit like I had my flies undone. So I like that this is a bit more secure in the sense that like you're all buttoned up and there's no way that you can look like your flies are open. Um, but yeah, I would say if you wanted to try these, size up in them because they are just far too tight, my natural size. This is a waist 30, and I think length either 30 or 32 because they're not petite. Um, but I would say just go up in a waist size and maybe try it that way. And then the last pair of jeans I picked up are a very trend-driven pair, and they are the split hem 
Can you see that? They're very black, so very difficult to see. Again, a black pair of jeans, but these aren't actually jeans. I didn't realize until they arrived, they're actually cord, like corduroy material. But because they are so black, it's not that obvious. But I really, really wanted to give these a try. I've seen this trend absolutely everywhere. And this is the first time I've seen it done in petite. I absolutely love the kind of like split hem trend. I think it looks really, really cool. But if I was to go for a regular length, there is not a chance in hell that it would fit me. They would just be too long. They would come over my shoes. They would not look cool at all. And they're not the kind of jeans that you can DIY. You've got to get them right. So when I saw these on ASOS, I would just pounced. I was like, I need them in my life. I need to give them a try and see what they look like on. These could either be an absolute win or an absolute disaster. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with these, absolutely obsessed. Now these are more of a mid-rise, which is not something I usually go for. I find that like often when you're petite, mid-rise can be a bit more unflattering, but actually, I don't know if it's because I'm wearing all black, but these sit really nicely on my waist. I don't have a gape at the back, which is really, really nice. And they just sit really, really nicely. And I love the cutout detail. I think it looks really, really cool. I think it makes my legs look a bit longer than they actually are. I really, really like it with the white trainers because they obviously are such a contrast. But I think it would also look really cute with maybe black heels if you're looking for something a bit more nighttime or even black boots would look really, really cool. Now, obviously, lengthwise, they fit perfectly. So it would be difficult if you are wanting these to put heels on because they might be a bit short once you've put heels on i'm not entirely sure but i really like how they look with flats i think they are so so cool the only thing is that i wish they weren't corduroy because i feel like the corduroy is what gives it away that they're not that evening appropriate i do wish they were an actual actual denim but i do really really like them i think three out of four guys we've done really really well in this haul now, seeing as though we're already here chatting about jeans, chatting about denim, talking about what suits us petite girls, I thought what might be quite nice is to go through some of the denim that is already in my collection that I've had in my wardrobe for a little while that I think is really, really flattering on us petite girls. I think of this as a bit of a jean collection addition to this video so that we can talk about what jeans best suit us petite girls. I'm going to warn you now that there's going to be a lot of blue denim in here as I said I really really love a mid-wash blue. Now the first pair of jeans I wanted to show you is this girlfriend pair. I absolutely love these. Now the first thing I'm going to tell you about these is I have actually had them altered. Now this is again something that I think totally go for if you have the funds, if you have the means and if you love the jeans enough get them altered. Now I will say girlfriend denim isn't really designed for curves, it's definitely designed for a bit more of a straight up straight down figure. So I found I had a massive gape at the back, you know that really awful like when it goes over your bum it just like sticks out at the back. They were gonna fall down but I really really loved them. They're a very like rigid denim which I have struggled to find in blue wash and what I really liked about them is they had this really cool like split hem detail so like at the front it's shorter than at the back and I really really liked that detail I didn't even have to cut them they fitted me in length and I was so excited about them so I decided to take them down to my local seamstress it cost me about 15 pounds I think all she did was cinched in at the back and sewed up for me and now they fit absolutely perfectly i love these so so much part of the reason why i was happy to spend an extra 15 pounds getting these tailored is because i knew these would be the kind of jeans that i keep in my wardrobe for a really really long time you guys know i'm all about cost per wear i always look at something and think am i going to get the wear out of that am i going to be able to wear it time and time again will it go with different outfits in my wardrobe will it go with different vibes can i style it up can i style it down and these jeans definitely tick a lot of those boxes for me so that was how i made the decision that it would be worth it to get them tailored and they already have been worth it. I've had these for, I think, just over a year now. And I really have gotten my wear out of them. I've worn them so, so much. I find them really, really comfortable. Despite the fact that they are actually buttons. And I normally hate it when it's a full button up. But I actually find these quite comfortable. And I really, really love them. So I definitely think it was worth it to get them tailored. And I think if you are looking at a pair of jeans that you've fallen in love with, they're absolutely perfect. But there's just a little bit, a little bit that needs fixed. By all means, get it fixed. If you guys have been following me for a little while, you're probably really sick of seeing these jeans because these are always the jeans that I style things up in. In like hauls and stuff, if I don't know what to wear something with, I'll just chuck them on with these jeans because they are just my favourites. They're just so like perfect everyday jeans. Very, very casual. As you can see, the length, I love, love that kind of like two, two step 
oh, I think it's called a step hem. I can't remember exactly, but the fact that it's like two different levels, I think is so, so cool. My favourite way to wear these is actually with boots. I find trainers, because you can't see any ankle, aren't as flattering. Um, but as I said, I wanted to wear the exact same thing for every single pair of jeans so you can see exactly what they look like. I do find these are more flattering with boots or heeled sandals. I think they look really, really nice with them as well. But as I said, I had them tailored so they fit perfectly on my hips and waist. There's no gape or anything. They are so so flattering and they also fit really nicely in my thighs they're not too tight i love them so much i definitely think girlfriend denim is the kind of denim that's like it's very spenny but it's definitely worth the investment it's definitely something that you're going to get your cost per wear out of you may have noticed that there was a very apparent absence of white jeans in it this video and that is because i already have two pairs that i think kind of fill my white jean quota i didn't need any new ones and i'm really really happy with these two in my wardrobe that being said, they both do have little things that I'll go through and like, that do niggle me a little bit. And so maybe I should have picked up a new pair of white jeans, but I think if I remember correctly, I didn't see any in the petite, ASOS petite section. I think that's why I didn't pick up any new ones. But anyway, the first one are actually from ASOS. <laughs> I've had these for a little while now and I've seen quite a few different retailers do very, very similar ones. These are about four years old now. So whenever I've tried to link them, I can't find these exact ones anymore. I've always had to link very similar styles. Ones that I've seen that like kind of look like the same. They've got the same vibe. But what I really like about these is the fact that they are kind of a distressed flare not full on flare like a bootleg kind of a vibe and i really really like that about them they are very very comfortable really like thin denim which makes them perfect for spring and summer it means you're not going to get too hot and they go really really well with your spring summer outfits i do really like these but they are a little bit big on me there are 32 in waist so they're a little bit loose around my hips now because i've already got so much wear out of them i could look at getting them tailored but i don't know if that would be worth it, I might just keep them just to keep belting them. I do really, really like how they look. I think they are so, so perfect for spring, summer. So you can see really clearly as soon as I put these on that they are just a bit too loose around my waist. So usually when I wear these, I have to wear them with a belt, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. Like it doesn't bother me too much. It's a little bit annoying, but because I love the jeans, it's not too much of an issue. But as I said, what I could do is just get them cinched in just like that that's all I need just a tiny little cinch which probably takes the seamstress about five minutes to do for an, like you know an extra 10-15 quid I would definitely say it's worth it just to make sure that your denim fits really really well lengthwise as you can see they're very like now I think they're supposed to be three quarter length kick flares because when I checked the label of this it says that they're a, a waist 32 length 32 and this is definitely not length 32 but I think what they mean by that is they're supposed to be three quarter length but on me they're full length but I really like them they're like a kind of kick flare at the bottom they're a little bit more casual a little bit different from anything else I own and I really really like them with either little white trainers sandals sliders I think they are such a perfect spring summer pair of jeans they're really really gorgeous and as I said I've had these for three years I've really got my wear out of them already and I do not intend of getting rid of them anytime soon the other pair of white jeans that I've got are again a pair of girlfriend denim. Now these are exactly the same as the blue jeans. I believe they're called the Teresa style, but don't quote me on that. Obviously all of the jeans will be linked down below for you guys. So you can shop all of the jeans from this video. But again, they've got the really cool two-tone, two-tone, two-hem, two-length two hem, split hem. Don't know what we call it, but I really, really like that about them. The difference in these ones is I haven't got these altered yet and I do actually keep meaning to because again they've got that gape at the back but it will be quite interesting to show you what the blue jeans look like before I have them altered so you can see what they're like in kind of like style and how they fit. I am definitely looking to get these altered because I do absolutely love them. They're much more rigid than the ASOS ones. They do feel... I don't want to say better quality because I do like how the ASOS ones are quite thin so I can wear them a lot in spring, summer. But these are a lot more rigid and I do think they're going to last me a bit longer than the ASOS ones have. You can immediately see the difference between these and the ASOS pair. And it's really funny how some of them like, when they don't fit around your waist, it comes out of the side. And some of them come out at the back. So as you can see, look at that. There's like quite a bit of excess fabric there. So that's what the blue ones looked like before I had them tailored. So I think I'm going to get these ones tailored as well. As I said, I've been meaning to do it for a long, long time. But these are much more like straight leg compared to the other ones. And again, they've got the split 
hem at the bottom which is so so cool i really really love that feature about them probably wouldn't wear them with these trainers i don't think they're the most flattering with white trainers but with sliders or sandals something really really summery i absolutely love these for that so yeah really really love them again spenny denim but definitely worth the investment another pair of blue jeans and another pair of wide leg jeans now these are actually dad jeans from a monkey and i do quite like monkey fort jeans i've only ever had like a couple of pairs from them but both of them have been really really great really fabulous in terms of curves like i haven't had to get them altered they haven't gaped massively at the back they haven't been really like uncomfortable and i really like them now these are much more of like an acid wash if you can see there and they're a lot more stretchy i think these are really nice spring summer jeans because they're much thinner than my other jeans they're not rigid at all they're very very stretchy which does obviously make them a lot more comfortable to wear now they are very very high rise they do sit like literally up to my ribs but i do think they look really really nice again lengthwise i didn't actually get these altered i haven't cut these i think they fit really really nicely in length i'll link them down below hopefully they're still in stock because these are a little bit old now but i will also just link to monkey denim because i do really really like their jean collection so I think one of the main things that you'll notice about these jeans is these are definitely the most casual jeans that I own. Obviously they're an acid wash, which is a bit more casual anyway, and just kind of the fit and like the look of them is much more casual than any of the other ones that I own. These are not the kind that I would wear to like a meal or, you know, anything posh. These are like going for a picnic in the park, going for a walk kind of a jeans. So as you can see, they fit really, really nicely. I haven't had these tailored at all. There's a tiny, tiny gap at the back, but I haven't had these tailored. I haven't taken these in at all. So the fact that they fit that nicely is really, really great. They're really stretchy as well, if you can see. Really stretchy jeans. So they're very, very comfortable. And then lengthwise, I mean, I could cut them if I wanted them to be a bit more kind of like mum style but I kind of like this kind of dad vibe about them obviously they are dad jeans I quite like the fact that it's like a bit more untrendy going down to the trainers I find that big trainers go really really well with these really chunky ones like Balenciagas or like Adidas just really chunky trainers that can add a bit of height I really like with these so yeah I do like them and I would definitely recommend checking out monkey denim they're not my most warm pair of jeans mainly because they are so casual but I do think it's really nice just to have a really casual pair of jeans in your wardrobe and then the last pair of jeans are another pair of girlfriend denim and another pair that I have got altered again all I did was go to the seamstress and she pinched a little bit at the back and just sewed them in for me cost like 10 to 15 quid it really was not a lot of money and I'm so glad that I did because these are probably my favorite spring summer jeans I really really like them they're very like wide leg again not quite a boot cut not quite fully wide leg but I do really really like them they're distressed at the bottom I don't think I cut these from memory but I may have it's always hard to tell when they're like naturally distressed I can never remember which ones I have and haven't cut but I don't think I did cut these I think I just got these altered what I really really like about these is they are really thin like really really thin denim when they first arrived I was a bit disappointed because I thought oh that doesn't feel very good quality but actually the thinness doesn't affect the quality of these I've had these for two years now and I've worn them so so much especially in spring summer and they've lasted me so so well so if you are looking for like a really light pair of denim jeans if you like wearing jeans into the spring summer months but you don't want to be too hot I would definitely recommend picking these up I just want to give you all a huge congratulations if you got this far we're on to the last pair <laughs> We are on to the last pair. If you have made it this far, leave me a little blue heart emoji because I want to know who actually made it to this point because this has been a lot of denim, a lot of pairs of jeans, a lot of trying on. We have the pile of other jeans down there. <laughs> but these are the river, not river, revolve ones, the girlfriend denim again, and I absolutely love them. You can definitely tell I have a type when it comes to jeans. I like a wide leg, I love a high waist, and I love blue. Like, that's kind of my tick box when it comes to jeans, and I really, really like these. As I said, they're very, very thin, like they're so soft as denim goes. I was so surprised when these arrived and again just had them tailored so they fit so so perfectly and I always think when you tailor them nicely it makes your butt look really really good so yeah really really like them lengthwise I don't usually wear them with these kinds of trainers but actually looking at this I'm kind of liking it it's kind of a vibe but I usually will wear these with either sliders or heeled sandals I find that that's how they look best 
I find they make your legs look really, really long. I do sometimes find that if you have jeans that maybe are a little bit longer that don't show ankle, they can make your legs look longer, which I think kind of goes against a lot of advice. People always say you should see some ankle. I think with mum jeans, yes, you should always see a bit of ankle, but I think with like wide leg and stuff, it looks better when you don't. I don't know. That's just my personal preference, but I really, really like these. I think they are so, so gorgeous. A definite spring, summer staple in my wardrobe. I've worn them so, so much already, and I do not intend on stopping wearing them anytime soon i cannot get my words out today <laughs> too many jeans i don't think i have tried on that many pairs of jeans in one go in years do you remember when you were a kid and you were like 13 14 and your mom would be like right we need to get you a new pair of jeans and you'd go denim shopping and it was like the worst day ever <laughs> oh mom i'm joking i love you but that has kind of brought up some memories for me <laughs> But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing a lot of the jeans that I have been picking up, ones that are already in my wardrobe, what I think of them, the styles, the shapes. I know that denim shopping is so, so hard and I've had loads of requests from you guys to go into a bit more detail about the denim in my wardrobe, about jeans that I like, the fit, the cut, the waist, the size, the length all of that jazz so i really hope this video was as useful as it could be for you guys and i really hope you enjoyed it please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did that always helps me out to know what kind of videos you guys like to see and if you're new around here i'd absolutely love it if you subscribe you can come and join us for so much more fashion and lifestyle videos it would absolutely make my day if you came and joined our little youtube family but i will leave you guys there i hope you've had a lovely day and i will see you in my next video bye